in this uh, Drupal tutorial we are going to learn uh, how we can create uh, vertical tabs like this so if you have observed when you uh, you are going to create any content type so when you uh, come to this uh, edit page so you can see here uh, there are vertical tabs so right now I can see it's a submission form setting and under this uh, tab we have uh, multiple fields and similarly you can see there are uh, mul uh, four tabs here in content uh, content type so uh, what if you want to achieve the same in your uh, custom form so what is the provision uh, you have in Drupal to create in a custom form so uh, definitely you can create it via use uh, form API so let's uh, uh, take a look how we can create this form and uh, uh, what uh, uh, form element you need to put into your uh, uh, form array so I have uh, a Drupal fresh uh, installation here and in this uh, fresh installation I'm going to create one uh, custom form here now I'm going to my module directory in module directory I have one form D demo and inside ddemo there is a source and, and under src uh, a folder is form under form i'm going to add my uh, new php file so i can say it's, it, its name uh, vertical form.php okay so it's a php class i have created here uh, the file name make sure your file name should match to your uh, class name so here uh, start with uh, opening php tags and class vertical form and it should extends form base class and as you can see my ck uh, my vs uh, vs code is suggesting that uh, uh, I should uh, implement some of uh, abstract method from my base class so let's then implement those abstract uh, methods so right now you can see these three are abstract method that I need to implement in my uh, custom form so get form ID it should actually uh, return the uh, form uh, form ID that you can uh, go and see into your uh, HTML so just return uh, a form ID from here and uh, as my form says vertical form so let's uh, return it like uh, vertical underscore form okay this this will be my uh, ID and uh, in build form uh, I should write here uh, form like I must make a form here and then return the form from here so dollar form and uh, right now I'm just uh, giving one uh, example of the field like first name and first name let's uh, make it's like a type of text field add some title here uh, you can add a uh, description here uh, uh, which will come below your uh, field so for description let's uh, make uh, enter your first name and there are other things that you can add but that is not the purpose of this video uh, but and now uh, comes to uh, add some uh, tab so for the tab first you need to give a wrapper uh, a wrapper form element and uh, to uh, to make that let's uh, make one form and uh, for this we will say suppose like uh, maybe it's a uh, information okay so it's information and here in the type we must give uh, a type it's a form element so every form element has one type and it's a like a vertical tabs 
and it accept one more property which is a default tab which tab should be opened by default so that uh, uh, i can give later here uh, that default tab but right now just ma ma make one placeholder for it now in this uh, actually what uh, tab we will uh, write our first tab here so uh, our first tab will be suppose uh, in first tab i am going to give author okay and uh, author is also uh, a form field so here again has type so it's a kind of detail details and uh, in title we can give a uh, uh, tab name it's uh, actually it's a uh, name of the tab okay so so in the title uh, let's uh, give here a title for this uh, author fields it will be actually uh, it will be a uh, tab name here so whatever we will give here it will be a tab name and uh, after that you need to actually define in which group you want to uh, put this uh, uh, tab okay so right now uh, in the group group property uh, we need to define in which and right now this will be our group so information now we can actually add uh, some some field here and uh, for that i'm just making a copy of this uh, field and uh, I'm going to add this uh, field under my author tab. Okay, so here I'm specifying the first uh, uh, element is author, and second element is like uh, uh, the actual field name that will be under that tab. So author, and suppose uh, author Twitter handle. Okay, it will be a text field again, and we can say change the name here. Twitter handle description that you want to give here. Okay, also I want to add something uh, else here and you can see author Twitter handle along with maybe you can say it like this. Just I'm just making a, a assumption. Okay, and instead of uh, Twitter, we can add here Facebook. Enter a Facebook. Okay, and suppose this is your first tab and another tab you want to put here. Uh, what you can say, maybe author address. Okay, so form, then you can say hey, author or we can say simply address and it will be again type of uh, details and under details it will be similar to this author one and here you can give the title for the description we can simply copy paste here Now I am going to actually make some uh, additional field under this tab address line one. Okay, and in line one, let's make it like a uh, second text field. You can make any field here. It's up to you. line one to just to speed up the video i'm just putting necessary details and let's make it uh, line two line two but also we, we need to make sure under which group this uh, tab would be so group will be again information and here also group information okay and okay so i think actually you don't require to put this uh, group name in actually inner field but into your wrapper field only so here only we require this uh, group property 
get proof and here we don't need this lime okay and submit function I'm not going to actually submit this form but uh, in future if we trying to submit this form then we will uh, write our logic here somewhere okay and at the end we need to return the form now our our uh, form class is uh, almost ready so uh, just uh, before uh, before rendering this form we have to make one entry in routing.yml file so that it can be uh, rendered at some path so for that i'm using my previously created uh, path so d demo and let's make it uh, vertical okay and title vertical form vertical form tabs and here you need to give a class name actually so right now vertical form class name and requirements access content okay it is open to uh, all user even for anonymous user so now if i clear the cache so there is some error what it is saying cannot declare class vertical form because the name is already in use vertical form line number six okay so here uh, we also need to give a namespace to call the demo form okay so that's how we have given earlier as well so in the vertical form and if i go and again try to clear the cache okay now it's time to visit our uh, project url and right now i will put here the demo so what's the name of our routing okay this is the path actually only i i have added extra so right now yes you can see here uh, it's a first name that we have created outside this vertical tabs and uh, it's an author so right now uh, these looks like a uh, separate separate but i want to open by default this author and uh, uh, I need to mention uh, mention ID of this uh, form element so we can actually copy uh, take this ID from here and the ID will be the field name okay and field name author so let's make it vertical form first name okay information default tab edit author and if you go here so right now it's opened and it's not coming as per our expectation so let's see what mistake we have uh, done here okay so mistake was uh, like uh, my my mistake it was a typo error let's save and visit the page again okay so now you can see i have a uh, two tabs here by default author tab is open and if you visit address so you can see address is also uh, coming here but uh, if in any situation you want to open by default this address tab then you have to go to here in your code and ins instead of uh, this uh, edit author id you can mention here edit uh, address and from where like uh, I'm, I'm not assuming any name here uh, but uh, it, it, it can be found from here so if you do inspect element and uh, so in in the href element you can see here id is uh, has address right edit address uh, you you can uh, make these kind of uh, tabs in your custom form that is already built in in drupal thanks for watching my video have a nice day